Hey guys, so we're back again with Daniel's vlog. We're, we're with the girls who want to get high off of um, <laughs> eye drops. Eye drops. Yeah. Yo, fuck me an ass. It's like 5 o'clock right now. I just got to the CSULB rec center. It turns out they were closed. I checked online to like see when they closed. They said it closed at 6 on Sundays. I thought that might be off, but I believed it because I was too fucking lazy to figure out if it was true or not. And it turns out it was not true, so they're closed. Yo, I really wanted to go to the gym today. That was gonna like help me relieve some stress. Not that I have anything stressful going on, but I was gonna do incline bench press, you know? I wanna I wanna get that upper chest just so I don't have freaking tit like sacks on my chest. All I have is lower, I need upper so I look like a normal person. <laughs> Man, that's fucking bullshit. Google, fuck you. I don't like looking like a fucking Victoria's Secret boobage model. I just typed it in on Google and Google was like, opens from 12 a.m. to 6 or whatever. And I believe them. Yo, vlogging is going to make me go insane. I'm literally just talking to myself. There's no one here, but every now and then, a random couple shows up and I'm just here fucking talking to myself or ranting. I do this for you. I do that for you. Oh dude, he just like, he just jumped onto a branch and hung there and swung like he was on a freaking pull-up bar. Dude, get those gains. Too bad I can't get those gains today. Dude, geez, look at all that colorfulness. Bro, this is like Picasso in real life, but I'm all by myself and it's not Picasso. I need a hat. By the way, I just realized what I said earlier made no sense at all. Like. Picasso is in real life. I don't know how that's like Picasso in real life. It feels a real fucking person. And I don't know what me being alone has to do with that. Like, like what does being alone have to do with Picasso? But like I said, I'm alone, so ladies, hit me up. <laughs> Maritha, Maritha. That's an inside joke. Dude, check that out, trees. You know, those things are scarce, kind of. I have no energy right now, so sorry if this is not interesting at all. Just a, just, a, you know, I want to connect with you guys on a deeper level, right? So I'm not gonna just force you to watch trash, pretend like it's art. This is fucking trash, and I admit that. But if you want to watch this anyways, if you guys want to watch this, wow, thanks man, thanks, thanks guys. This is trash though, like, fuck this is trash. But yo, everybody's vlogging nowadays, right? I'm just trying to catch on that trend, but I want to be original too, and I want to be real. You know, it's not all about the subscribers, it really is, but at the same time, I feel bad if I don't upload something worth watching, and this is definitely not a video worth watching. So be wary. Fuck, I need a hat. I'm just wandering out here like a fucking nomadic homeless person. Wear sunscreen, kids, unless you want wrinkles when you get older. Whoa, high five. High five. I think I might just have hepatitis A, B, C, and D right now. I don't know, maybe a little gonorrhea too. And I'm touching my camera with the same hand I just touched that dirty glove with. I gotta wash my hands, so... Fuck you guys, see you later. I'm gonna go wash my hands, sorry. I didn't mean that. Love you. Yo, why he gotta be white though? I swear there was a white guy on that screen just a second ago. Oh my gosh, their windows are down. They might get violent and go crazy and shoot me. You know how white people get sometimes, right? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, honestly, I don't even know what's down there. I kind of don't want to go down there, though. Looks like hillbilly land. Yo, I just got stopped by a disabled veteran, or so he called himself. He was asking me what I was recording. He was afraid I would, like, record him, his broke-down car, and go ride him out to the police or something. So it's like, it's like I'm a Yelper now. You know how Yelpers, they have all that authority over restaurants? I'll give you a bad rating if you don't let me eat free. I want more samples, right? South Park did the whole thing. I'm like a Yelper now, but instead of restaurants, I post videos of the less fortunate and they give me shit. He gave me his life savings, all 20 cents of it. I'm starting to look kind of muscular, that's cool, but I'm wearing a really gay shirt right now, so I look like one of those gay nerds, no, one of those buff nerds that works out because he's a nerd and he doesn't want to admit it to himself. So instead of stopping that whole lifestyle, he just adds muscle and apparently that changes everything. As you can see, I got a second round of diabetes today. It's not healthy, I should probably stop eating this shit, but what else do I fucking eat? I don't know. So if I die within the next few days, or even if I just disappear, um, 
look out for Jack in the Box because I've been talking like heck of shit about Jack in the Box recently and they might be catching on so I mean if I disappear I'm straight up check out Jack in the Box check out their new five piece chicken tenders for 129 and tell them Daniel sent you but if I die within like the next five years also Jack in the Box I'll probably have a fucking heart attack lung failure just because I've been eating so much saturated fat shit this tiny ass chicken sandwich this thing was 141 $1.41 it has half a thousand calories that's insane I don't understand it this thing can't be healthy well, that was a complete waste of time I went outside to go to the gym it wasn't open so I came back home an hour later and now I'm gonna eat some fucking jack-in-the-box if I hadn't gone outside I wouldn't be eating jack-in-the-box therefore I'd be a more healthy person I don't understand why this rec center has to close at 5 what the heck well places in Torrance that I go they close at like 12 or the 24 hours what is this five o'clock I know it's Sunday but like I'm not gonna say anything offensive so never mind I am so tired, wow. Call me a weeaboo, but I just started getting into fairy tale. And I mean, I'm actually Asian, right? So it's it's less weird if I'm into it, as opposed to some freaking Hispanic dude or a white guy, right? If you guys didn't know, I'm half Taiwanese, half white. If anyone cares, I only have like 10 views per video. I don't think anyone gives a shit. Or everyone watching my videos already knows that, probably. My friend told me about fairy tale back in like 8th grade, but... I thought it it was so long. I thought it was a waste of time. I didn't want to read it, I mean, so I never got into it. But it's summer now. I don't have too much to do, so reading fairy tale, bro. And I love this shit. Back in eighth grade, I was super invested in Naruto, One Piece, and Toriko. Honestly, I'm not too into Naruto. Like, it's cool and all, but I feel like that's the thing that all weeaboos rally behind. You know, like, that's the, weeab that's the go-to weeaboo shit. So, I like it, but I wouldn't talk to anyone about it openly, just because usually people go weeaboo as shit whenever they start talking about it. Like, I'm not that into it, I just like to read it, because there's action, right? It's like reading a book, but pictures. And then there's One Piece, I like that, it's basically Naruto, right? You have powers, you do shit, it's adventure, I love that, that's awesome. It's kind of weeaboo-ish, like, if you talk about it with fucking otaku people, Though some of them go ape shit and they go, oh my gosh, One Piece, Luffy, uh, Gummy Gummy, No Punch, whatever the fuck it's called. But yeah, like I said, I'm not super into it. I like reading it. I don't want to go cosplay or dress up as them or pretend that my life revolves around them. And then there's Toriko. That one, it's a little more like underground. Not too many people know about it. It's kind of popular. Basically, it's like Dragon Ball Z, but you get more powerful by eating food so the more like difficult it is to prepare a food or the more difficult it is to defeat a food a beast and cook it the more power you get by eating it see it's not like a fucking cooking thing like I'm not into that shit that's I don't know how some people like those mangas about cooking or like volleyball tennis prince of tennis what the fuck is that shit it's like you fight all these beasts and there's so many possibilities because there's so many endless different beasts that you can fight and you get more powerful every time you eat one and now it's all about fairy tale same thing you fight and there's so many possibilities with their powers and all that shit i sound gay as fuck but judge me if you want i'm gonna read this shit it's so so good and I'm tired. Wow. <sighs> Yo, I want to get something straight. I am not a weeaboo, but I am fucking addicted to fairy tale. Like, shit, I love that so much. It's so cool. Maybe cool is not the right word, but I love it, dude. It's like reading a book, but without the freaking reading part. <laughs> not that I don't like reading, but I haven't been, yeah. Honestly, I haven't even read since like middle school. 